Um, right now we're live. So uh, yeah, like I said, we need to log into the software. So we're going to switch it from recruitment at the top to marketing. And then we're going to scroll down and you know, we can look into marketing office just before I get to show you the services. But you'll see here I've already got spreadsheets for different ones that I've started. So, you know, you've got sponsorship license, uh, visas, business insurance, car leasing, R&D and business finance as well. And this is what um, I can build them at the minute. So that is the prospect and what we're going to be carrying on doing today in this session. Um, but the marketing lead center. We're going to look at some of the services that we've got. So um, what I'm going to do is. We're going to use business finance. We're going to continue to grow that prospecting spreadsheet. And we're going to do it in the legal sector, as you can see in my spreadsheet. I'll go back to it in a second, but I already put out legal and I think, you know, about 10 and 9 rows down uh, in the industry column. And the reason why is because that's what the session is going to be around is, is basically just finding avenues on finding, you know, legal law firms and stuff uh, and finding out who the managing directors are and and getting the information we need. So uh, we're going to see the sale. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I've got a very sore throat today. Let me just have a drink. Right. <clears throat> so uh, short description to ensure that business uh, businesses receive the fastest and most straightforward solution for their funding. Got a more in-depth description here, and as you know, Harmony, you mentioned you've seen some of the videos. These are the videos that I've done so far on business finance. There's three of them here. You've got a business finance tutorial, trust pilot prospecting on your mobile, and you've also got a live customer call there. The documents as well. You've got your objection handling sheet. These are just questions that you might come up against with a customer. So you know if um, you know if they want to ask about a TO or at what rate they'll get. Yeah, so you know, you'll see a, uh, what is the rate? The rate comes in three tiers, tier one, five to 15, tier two, 15 to 30, and tier three is 30 percent. And you've also got some extra questions here that you might get asked as well. So that is the objection handling sheet. Now, let me just close all of these. This is the lead form. As you can see, these are the questions that you'll ask the customer on the other end. And once you fill out that lead form, you'll spec that lead form at the top here, where it says spec customer. You can click spec customer, put your details in. Some comments, you know, usually if, but when there are the customers available for a call will be helpful. Um, and then you upload your lead form on here and then spec the customer across. So <clears throat> what was that last document on her? Uh, all right, so that's the business finance outreach template. There is going to be another template on here, um, one that I've made as well. Uh, it's just not been attached to it yet, but this is a template that you can use. There's a lot of text in here. Obviously, I only grab some of it because um, you'd only be able to fit so much in there and, until you switch your customer off with boredom. <laughs> right, so let me go back. Now, <clears throat> back to the list, guys. So, like I said before, uh, we're going back to prospecting. If you can see in my industry column, I've already laid out what we're going to be doing in the session. We're going to be looking on LinkedIn, which is the source. You can see, well, no, that shouldn't say no, it should say source. Where our source to lead from. Uh, so, you know, there's a mix of the area of business insight, LinkedIn as well. 
So I've been using the business insight, uh, the business intelligence center here. <clears throat> but I have been finding a lot on LinkedIn too. So, you know, there's two avenues to find leads there. So we're going to continue to do uh, work on LinkedIn and look at the legal industry. So uh, let me get to my LinkedIn. And I've, as you can see, I, I've already got it loaded in there. So solicitors, managing director, but let's just start that again anyway. So what we can do, we actually we'll take out solicitors. There's another way of doing this. We can just type in managing director because we can switch up these terms as well. And this is the beauty of it. So managing director. Now we need to set our filters in place now. So obviously we want to look at people. Location I'm going to leave open just for now. I mean, we have got 5 million, but we're going to narrow this down a little bit more uh, by going into all filters. And rather than location, I may consider location, just not yet. I want to firstly put in an industry, um, which is legal, obviously. So legal services, uh, was there anything under law? Law practice, yes, that will do. Um, show results, let's see how many we have. We've still got over 50,000. So <clears throat> there's plenty there, plenty to go at. I mean, we could really add in a location. But I'm just going to go through these anyway. So I've got my Apollo here. We can click the envelope. And obviously, if it doesn't have it, we just move on to the next one. If it does, perfect. So actually view the contacts in Apollo to be a little bit quicker. No email. In fact, we can just move on. For this lot, I will connect with them. So and what I'm going to do actually is business finance notes. Right, it's empty. <laughs> Let's go to chat GPT. Right, so um <clears throat> to log in. I have no idea what email I've used, but let's try this one. Yes, it is. Right, so um <clears throat> What we want is a LinkedIn connection note. So let's try. Actually, guys, I think I might already have something. Let me just open up my messages. <laughs> I do. So if you can see this one here, uh, hi, as well. My name is Mac. I, uh, I work for a trusted financial institution known for providing tailored financial solutions to businesses like yours. We have over 200 lenders and a high acceptance rate for businesses based on performance, not just numbers. Can I ask are you seeking business finance? Pretty straightforward, and I think it does fit in all 300 characters. If you don't like it, obviously, you can ask ChatGPT for something similar. You know, I could just type in a link in no. Um, business bonds. I mean, that's pretty uh, too much, to be honest. Uh, you want to get 300 characters, but what's it give us? It's put. I hope this massive message finds you well. I wanted to reach out to you because of your impressive background and expertise in the financial industry. As the com uh, as I continue to grow and develop my own business, I've been researching uh, various funding options to support its expansion. Right, maybe not, probably not the best one to use actually. What about email? LinkedIn. 
marketing. Business lines. All right, so this is a lot better. So I trust this message finds uh, finds you in good health. I've been following your expertise and insights in the business and finance, sorry, financial sector with great interest. Given your extensive knowledge in the field, I wanted to introduce you to a new, unique opportunity that could greatly benefit business in need of financial support. So there's a lot in here, but we could take out bits anyway. Um, you know, we specialize in providing tailored business loan solutions that empower entrepreneurs to take their ventures to new heights. That's a great line you could put into your connection note. But these, this is why I, you know, I use chat GPT guys off the bat because it just gives me ideas straight away of what I can use for connection notes. I've already got one though here with Riz one, so I'm going to use that one. Um, so yeah, sorry, I'm going to connect with Amrish, add the note, paste that in there. Change the name, obviously. Now, what else I might want to do with this is, you know. So it says, you know, I work with trusted financial institute. Uh, sorry, I work before a trusted financial institution known for providing tailored finance, sorry, financial solutions to businesses like yours. Now, I'm looking at law firms on, so I might put instead to make it a little bit more specific to the, them solutions to law firms or law practices you know, I'll just put law firms like yours uh, we have over 200 lenders, lenders and a high acceptance rate for businesses based on performance not just numbers and I ask are you seeking business finance two characters left so I'm not going to add anything else in there uh, I've not got anything else to add I'm just going to copy that again. Send and I'm going to paste it in here. Hit the save button as well. All right, so that's Ambrish done. We couldn't get his email, so <clears throat> we're hoping to connect with him through LinkedIn and reach out to him that way. Uh, Managing Director at Kindergartens Accident Management. OK, let's uh, see if we can get your email. Uh, did we get that? Yes, we did. So we can go ahead and put uh, Christopher Lehman Yan in our list. So I spell Christopher wrong. Let's get a number if we can. And turn. Right, perfect. Now on the next one. <clears throat> Let's check if we've got Philip. Yes, we do. Put Philip in the list. See if we have a number. Yes, we do. And you see how fast it is, guys, working off LinkedIn when <clears throat> You're literally just looking for you know you know you know directly who you're looking for and um, there's no second guessing or anything because the only person who has the say on this is the managing director whereas obviously where we've looked at recruitment in the past you've kind of got to guess who it is where we're not playing guess who on on this list building and this is why it, you know it's a lot faster and why I've added, you know, quite a few in for this session because we'll get these done probably in the next 10, 15 minutes or so. But um, it's called Colts. Uh, 
Capitals. Yeah, that's the one. Call first solicitors. Just says call first. Perfect. All right, and then we can keep going. So all these, I can click there, there. And you are going to run out of credits on Apollo doing this, guys. Some of them, obviously, we're not always going to have the email, uh, like Mohammed Ashraf. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we still can't get an email for this. So iDocs, maybe, you know, it, it might be that we may, if there's anybody else working at the company, we could work out the format of what their emails look like to work out his. Or we could just go on the website and, it, you know, if iDocs is a small law firm where it's just like a one man band, generally you're pretty safe with just going with the info email. Let's get Daniel Black's. legal and then see if we've got a number. And who else was so James R. James at Overdale's. A number for Overdale's not available. I mean, you could probably get it off Google. All it is is just a Google search. There you go, and you've got a mobile number. Well, send us a text or the landline. Right, so I'm going to hit save. Uh, I forgot to do that. <laughs> Make sure you do hit save, otherwise you'll lose what you put in here. <clears throat> but let's just draw our attention to Mohammed Ashraf because I do believe that we still might be able to get this chap's email. If we can't, that's fine. Um, you know, we can move on to whoever. You know, we've got fifty thousand results. Remember here, so we can easily move on. So let's just click on his profile. Let's see what kind of presence IDOX has on LinkedIn. So only two employees. So this kind of goes back up where I said, look, if it's a one man band kind of thing, we can we'd be pretty safe. We just go and we have an info email. <clears throat> so if I look for his, if he has a website, that is. He has to have a website for this. Yeah, so it says visit website on the LinkedIn page here. So we can click this. And this is his website. So, you know, like I said, you're pretty all right with just going with the info or the general email that he has on the website, because if it is a one man band business, whereas, you know, it's just him working there, I'm pretty sure he's going to read that email that you send him. So, um, <clears throat> connect with us. All right, so he's actually not left an email on here. Do we have anything on Apollo? No, nothing. And if just a number, that's it. I mean, what is it submitting, isn't it? So yeah, we can't get an email from here either, guys. Oh no, we have got an email, sorry. I'm just not looking in the right places. We've got info at idocservices.co.uk. Right, so let me copy that if I can't, so I'm going to type it in. Info at idocservices.co.uk. Yeah. Now the number. Copy from the top. Well, he's called Mohammed 
true. Installed iron docks. Is it services or solicitors? It just calls it iDocs, doesn't it? iDocs services though on the website. Yeah, we'll put services in there as well. So yeah, there you go. We did manage to get an email for him. So that's why, you know, always go the extra mile if you can to uh, get something for, uh, you know, for, the, for at least reaching out to them. And again, if it didn't have his email, I would have connected with him on here anyway. Probably best that I do that as well, connect and I don't know. Um, before I do, actually, I just noticed I do have another one of those. I think it is just the same though. Um, yeah, I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this one. All right, so uh, we'll send him a connection note as well. Managing director, SR Costings, cost drafting people. <clears throat> See where our Apollo is. Seems to have disappeared on us. So Sam Callit, do we have an email? Guest. We'll take it anyway. And we'll get a number. Not available. Oh, that's not a problem. Um, I mean, we can see if there's SR Costings as a website and get a number off that. Yeah, it doesn't look like it to be fair. It's not a problem. I mean, all we really want really is the email. With this person, though, I might connect with them as well. Um, but let's just in side costings in there. Is that actually? There we go. So same again with Nick Freeman. Do we have an email? Second, it's time verifying. <clears throat> no email, not a problem. Got plenty more results to go through. So we've got Yasmin. And it's AGI criminal solicitors. There we go. I'm going to hit save again. Keep forgetting to do that. Let me just refresh and pray to God that all this is still in here. Yes, it is perfect. Um, do we have Andrews? Yes, we do.
and Andrew is what are they called? Cullimore Dutton solicitors. Right, so I'll have to grab two more guys. And I just want to show you how fast this should be, obviously, in grabbing these leads. Anthony Wilson. Taking his time for him. We'll just get <clears throat> Sybil whilst we've got hers there. So her name in. It's our surname, Sybil. What's that all think? Grab the number. It's an American number, but oh well, like I said, it's not that important. The number, it's mainly the email that we want. And these are called Bridge Partners. Let's go back to Anthony. Do we have that email or not? You be written Apollo. Generally, if it takes its time, guys, it generally means it doesn't have it. Let's see. Oh no, it does. It just wanted to take its time. So we'll copy that and have Anthony as our last one. To that number as well. About to put MD next to these as well because that is what I've been searching for. Uh, is the term MD in LinkedIn? But when you're going as fast as I am, you are going to forget some things, right? So we've got what were you called uh, the company? So Anthony Philip James and Co. Right, right, so hit the save button. And I think, guys, I was on, what were we on? We were on 50, weren't we? Yeah, because White Horse Solicitors was the last one that I'd done before the last session. So that's 10 I've just got down there. And obviously, I want to date these as well. <clears throat> Once I've sent my email to them, if you can see, I've not sent any emails to the legal ones yet, but I've got a date in here from when I sent my first email for the retail manufacturing and construction and you know some tech in there as well. But from legal onwards, I've not sent any out, out yet because I'm, I was saving that for uh, this session to show you. So uh, we've got our emails. <clears throat> We're going to copy them. Just grab as many as I can. Open up my email. And I'm just highlighting them all, making sure they're all highlighted, obviously, so we can have this email sent. Perfect. Now, <clears throat> I've just realised <laughs> I've copied them into the wrong thing. It's in two, and you've got to make sure you don't do that, guys. You've got to be in BCC into here. So make sure they're in there, BCC. Right, now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find what I sent out yesterday. I can send items. Here we go. All right, so I sent out one 
Uh, so I'm going to do it to Whitehall. Yeah, so I've actually got too many in there that I want to take out. Uh, let me just... Email these because I've got these these ones at the top guys have already been emailed. Right, so uh, and I don't want to email them just yet because I've got going to have a separate email for them, a second email template rather than just emailing them the same one. So let me just highlight these real quick. These ten that we just grabbed, that you've seen me just get from LinkedIn. Uh, now, subject, what I have been using, as you can see on this one, tailored financial solutions for your law firm success. You know, that's pretty good. So we're going to use that one. And the template I have. So this device. Obviously, you, can, you guys can make your own. Uh, I've just been, you know, playing around with some things, seeing, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. Um, and I've generally found, like, you know, if you use pictures of, like, you know, reviews and stuff on Trustpilot, you know, you come across as more trusting. Uh, but this is my template anyway. You know, basically stating who the client is, uh, my contact details as well. So I'm going to hit send on this. And that will be sent out. So this is what they'll be receiving on the other end. You know, basically stating what uh, what what the fi business finance we can get them, and uh, you know the, what the tailored financial solutions we offer, pretty much. But um, but yeah, that is what I've uh, got for you guys. I know it was just pretty much a quick half hour session on prospecting, but that is what I wanted to show you anyway on how we can and um, how easy it is, and how fast we can start to prospect for these leads. So. Um, just reading a message from Tabor. Sorry, I need to attend work call. I will watch the recording later. Thank you. Yeah, that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, ah, sorry, Ramalinga, I didn't realise that you were here. How are you? Hi. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm not too bad. Thank you. Um, I'm not. What? What part? When did you join? Sorry, did you? What, did you catch any of the list building? Yeah, I joined from initially. I think no, after no, five that's minutes. Not a yeah, yeah. That's not a problem. I mean, we're, we're recording anyway, so whatever you missed at the beginning, you can see on the video anyway. This will get posted on Job Bank Community, um, oh. and I'll be once I'll be posting it in our WhatsApp group as well for you to watch. But um, but anyway, that was uh, pretty much what I had for you guys. I was going to leave the last part of this session for questions and answers. Um, I hear Bridget, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm not too bad, thank you. I'll tell you what, whilst uh you've joined, we'll grab we'll grab five more. Um for for the sake of the video, and then we'll 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 leave the last 10 minutes for questions and answers, guys. Okay. So what I've just been doing, Bridget, is I've been building this list okay. uh, for the business finance. Um, I've just grabbed 10. I've just got 10 on, 10 on here, but we're going to do another five before we end the session. Sorry, I, can't I just came back from work now. No, no, don't worry about it at all. I'm glad you've joined anyway. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put five of these in because what we're doing, guys, is we're looking at the legal industry for business finance opportunities. And where I'm looking on here is I'm looking on LinkedIn for it. So I'm copying LinkedIn down the side here as well, because this column is for where I've sourced my lead from. You can see it does change at the top because, you know, I did get a few from business finance when I was looking at other other businesses, industries as well. Um, but I'm having a look at legal at the minute because this is what I've done with my list, guys. Uh, well, how I've built my list is I've typed in managing director in the top here. 
and it doesn't always have to be managing director you can switch this once you run out of you know looking at managing directors look at stuff like co-owners founders you know these different terms as well <clears throat> but at the minute i'm looking at managing director because you can see i've got 52,000 results i've not got a location in here but this is all the managing directors um in the uk that are under the industry of the legal services and uh, law practice now industry filter can be found in all filters guys you just need to click into all filters let me just close that oh i done here and obviously if you scroll down you've got your industry filters here you know so if you want to come out of the legal and maybe look at <clears throat> I don't know, say other businesses like uh, accountancy practices or, you know, anything else and you can do. Uh, but at the minute, we're just looking at legal. Um, so we're going to grab five more leads. Now, I was on page two. And it is as easy, guys, as literally just clicking for the email. May have to wait a couple of minutes uh, for for Apollo to pull its uh, pull its butt together. Is it? Yep, it's got it. James Gartland. Let's put him in. And MD, obviously, because they are the managing director of the business. We don't have a number. Remember, you can always search this on Google and try and get a number. And I'm pretty sure we'll have a number here. Yeah, we do. All right, so let's grab some more. Looks like I've already got Emma, Abby, Kelly. Naima and Jamie. So we've got Abby's. Abby Keach, she's called. Um, typing too fast for my own brother, yeah. Have we got a number there? Yes, we do. On to my next one, Kelly. No number, but we can type target. Oh, gone on the profile by accident. We can type uh, <clears throat> should go target psychology limited. And we'll have a number from Google. Is that surname Kelly Paddock? Perfect. Now let's get the last two and then we're going to do what we just did before. Send our email out. <clears throat> and remember, guys, if you remember, if there's no hope at all, connect with them on LinkedIn. And, um, you know, just as an example, let's say if we didn't have an email for Naima, I would be adding a note and on my notes here. Is my LinkedIn connection not? And if you want to be extra proactive and make sure you're getting your message across to them, do both. 
send an email to them and connect with them on LinkedIn, letting them know that you're offering business finance. Just to open up Leopoldo, see if we did have an email for her. No, we didn't actually. So that was a good guess. So that's what we want to do in that in that case is uh, is connect with her on here. Now, uh, Jamie Cottle, we have an email for her. And his business is Camro. Yeah. On to the next page. One more on my list. <clears throat> Rick Law. <laughs> Ironically is working in the industry of law. So we've got rick.law at uh, Liberty Legal. Seems like this man was born to do what, he, what he's doing. All right, so uh, Liberty, Legal. We get a number. So we can. And there you go. So that's five of them that I just got there, guys. Um I'm pretty sure it was ten past when we when we said we were gonna grab five. So it's been eight minutes. Like I said, it is a lot faster this you'll see as to uh, recruitment where uh, if you you know if you guys did recruitment before where you would list building for clients. It was a lot longer because you had to try and, you know, you were playing a game of guess who, trying to figure out who it was you needed to speak to with this. All we need is just the managing director, co-owner, founder, whatever that is. We can grab the information that we need, put our email together, showed you before, into BCC, highlight them all. And my subject title on that ad from ChatGPT, you can do the same. Just type in uh, email marketing for business loans and you'll get something similar to this. Um, or you, if you want something different, ask them, you know, change the wording around in ChatGPT. Uh, but I have my template already as well. So I can insert my picture, which is here. Notice that it does say business finance legal template. The reason why is because in here, it, this one is for law firms. As you can see, we hope this email finds you well at, uh, at Job Bank Finance. We understand that unique financial needs of law firms uh, like yours and are excited to introduce you to our specialized business loan solutions designed to support your growth and expansion and success. So, you know, this is aimed at law firms. Right. So, um, yeah, I can go ahead and click send. And that sends that out, guys, to sends this out pretty much to them. So we're out. If I get a response from these guys, <clears throat> I'll then follow up with a call. And where we follow up with a call, we get our marketing lead form from the service. So we're going to service leads ads. Business finance. And then uh, the lead forms down here. So obviously once uh, they do respond, we get them on the phone, I'll be speaking to them. I'll be answering, asking these questions, sorry, and getting the answers off them for these questions. Once you fill out your lead form, guys, like I mentioned in the beginning of the session, all you need to do is spec the customer across up here. With the lead form that you upload obviously in the comments put when they're available for a call and your information here as well and spell our customer across but yeah guys that is it that's all i've got for you now for the last 10 minutes of this session because uh, we are like i said we only really run until half one uh, but if you if you know if, you, if what you ever you missed in the beginning of the session don't worry we are recording this and you'll be able to see it on job bank community 
and uh, I'll post it in WhatsApp community group that we've got going as well. Uh, but for the last 10 minutes, guys, have we any questions? Anything you want to want to go over? Uh, hi, Mindy, sorry, you've put a question in there. You've put, do you find it's better to send an email rather than a LinkedIn message? Um, sometimes it depends really on the other per the person on the other end and what they're like. If, you know, if they're email savvy and they're always checking their emails, then they'll see that. Um, or a LinkedIn might, you know, if they're savvy on LinkedIn and they're always on LinkedIn, they might get that first. The only thing is with emails, why sometimes LinkedIn might be better is if you send someone a LinkedIn connection note, they're going to see it as a notification, either on the phone or whatever. It doesn't really matter. They will see that you've tried to reach out to them. However, with an email, it's not always guaranteed that your email is landed in their inbox and not in the junk folder. Um, so, you know, sometimes an email can be better, but it depends where it's landing. If it's landed in the inbox, then great. But if it's landed in that spam folder, then not so great. But uh, but yeah, maybe that maybe that's why it's probably best that you do both. I'll be honest with you: is connect with them and send the emails. Uh, but yeah, any any questions, guys? Yeah, this brings me to the question I wanted to ask. Apart from a uh, lame list, is there another uh, software we can use to check like the open rate? Like if there, you keep sending email and you're not even sure if it's open, if it's like Yeah, there is there is a few. I know I I know of uh, there's MailChimp, they do uh, mass mails, there's also Apollo themselves, they they do scheduled mails for you. Um but yeah, but with Apollo, are you able to see like if the email was open? Um, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think you are. Yeah. Um, with the free version or the paid one? I think it's the paid, the premium version of Apollo. Okay. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean, that's what I, what I would suggest doing is just doing both, emailing them and sending them a LinkedIn connection request as well, um, and just doing it through both channels. But yeah, uh, any other questions, guys? Uh, if you don't get a response from someone, would you email them again? Yeah, uh, so this is going to be a sequence, like I mentioned before, you know, the reason why I'm putting a date next to my list, if you can see in the software, uh, let me just go to the marketing office and prospect in. You know, these have got a date next to them. So the first ones I emailed on the first of this month, I'll send my second email probably not towards the eighth. And then in the third week, I'll send another another email and then another one in the fourth week. And it will be a different email. It won't be just the same one again. Obviously, I'll just change my wording round in chat GPT. Maybe add, you know, some different pictures in a different background, maybe, and just switch it up every time. Uh, but I'm going to create a sequence of emails for these people. So obviously you don't want to just email email them the once. We want to make sure that we're, we're sending a sequence of emails to try and get a response from them. Because once we gain that response, you know, if it's not the response we want, if it's, you know, removed from your mailing list, then fine. That's, you know, that's perfect. At least we know that you're not interested. We don't need to add you in our list anymore. Uh, and if we get, a, you know, a positive response like I want to know more, perfect. Let's get them booked in for a call. So that is the purpose for the list, but um, but yeah, hope that answered your question anyway. But any other questions, guys? No problem at all. Uh, Rami Lingam, have you no questions? Uh, no, I have no question regarding this building that leads uh, mainly I'm um, joined like uh. How do you find the CVs and uh, you know like uh, yeah. posting the CVs in the portal? That may be the following. Uh... Well, I was going to say, Ramalingam, mean, have you done your job bank marketing training yet? Yeah, we did it, but um, we did briefly. So, um, so I like to go through again. So, all ah, right, no, not a problem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The job bank market. So that 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 list that you just seen was basically for uh, business finance. So, um. The, the the managing directors are people that we're going to approach and see if they you know if they're seeking any loans or unsecured loans, um, 
and I've been looking at the legal market at the minute and it's just tons of, you know, leads, potential leads there. But you can switch it up and look at other markets as well. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you know, there's accountancy firms as well that you could approach. There's, you know, all sorts of different industries that we could attack. Um, and that's the beauty about doing business finance, guys, is that anybody and everybody, uh, providing that, you know, it's not in the adult industry or in the gambling industry, you know, they can they can apply for a business loan. Okay. But, um, but yeah, as if, if, if any other questions, guys, because obviously I don't want to end it if anyone has a question. Uh, not for me. Not too sure about the commission for the the business loan. Is it written on the job? Uh... Yeah, yeah, it is. So I'll show you one second. Uh, let me just go back to marketing lead center service leads ads. So, uh, as I understand, uh, mm -hmm. we're going into business finance. Sorry, mm -hmm. with the business finance one, the commission for this is where does it say yeah right here so if you see where it says just above the videos it'll say a commission of three percent of finance value so let's say if you you put a customer through and they get a 200 grand loan uh yeah. through what we get is we get three percent of that three percent of 200 grand loan would be six grand and yeah. um, that would be the billing but the, obviously it would be split with job bank so you would get three thousand and we would get three thousand so that's a uh, so whatever, obviously, whatever is earned is split with job bank 50-50. So that's how you work out the commission, but it is different with all the other services. So business loans is 3%, but, you know, if you go into the tax stuff like research and development, <clears throat> this is a lot more. You know, you've got the 25% of client fees. Average payout on them is like five grand. So these are a lot more, obviously. And the visas... Are, uh, I think are at a fixed fixed fee uh, if I'm right let me just go into promote because I'm promoting them so yeah you can go into visit visa so the price is of a visa of a visa can range between 800 and 1200 30 percent of client fees average payout is uh, 300 pound for that Right, so, uh, so that where did is, you get this page? How did you get this page for visas? I just clicked into yeah, promote. Not what, just the visa, all you've been doing since you went on marketing and you went on, yeah, so service. marketing lead center down here, and then yes. you click into service leads ads, and okay. these are all the services, these oh. are the ones I'm promoting at the minute. But if I if I go back and these are the ones that I'm not promoting all the other ones oh so you don't see the one you are not promoting or what no if you want to see the ones that you're promoting you just click promote at the top here um and if you click on promote you'll see the ones that you're not promoting at the minute but yeah if, if you're not promoting any they should all be in on promote anyway oh, okay. yeah um any other questions guys oh sorry how uh, do you do have a question uh can the business finance be used by any other business yeah any like i said any any business at all as long as it, you know like i said it's not in the adult industry and it's not in the gambling industry and also ebay businesses are a bit of a thing as well i don't think if anyone runs a business on ebay i'm not sure if they'd be able to get finance for that as well um so that is a thing to consider also um you know, if someone does run a business, the turnover does have to be over a certain amount. And what I mean by that is, you know, let's say if you've got someone that's only turning over 20 grand a year and they don't own their own property, it's highly unlikely that they're going to be able to get an offer. And the reason why is because, you know, a 20 grand turnover is like a, it's a salary pretty much. So it's like a self-employed salary. And if you don't, if they don't own their own property, there's nothing to put down either to get the loan. So that's why, um, you know, they wouldn't be able to get an offer. However, if you've got someone that maybe doesn't have a high turnover, but does own some property, there is still a chance you'd be able to get an offer on the table for them because they have equity there. They own some property that would they'd be able to put down for the business loan. And if they've got both, you know, if they've got a high turnover and they own property, you can guarantee they can pretty much get them an offer. 
But um, but yeah, any other questions, guys? Yeah, this will be the weekly one, isn't it? So every Friday. Yeah, every every Friday we're gonna do this. Yeah, uh, it is gonna be. I mean, to be honest, guys, I'm gonna try and work it around you. Would you prefer it a little bit later in the afternoon? Uh, mm -hmm. if it's Friday, because may I finish work like twelve forty five, so before I go to get home, it will be like one o'clock. Yeah, I mean, we can we can push it to one o'clock next Friday mm -hmm. if you want. Okay. Yeah. That's not a problem. I'll, I'll re next next Friday, guys. We'll schedule that one at one o'clock, um, if it makes it easier for you guys. But um, but yeah, if no one's no any other questions, we'll end that there. Like I said, this is recording, so I'll uh, I'll send this all through to you in the WhatsApp group, and it'll be on Job Bank Community, so you can see whatever you missed anyway. So do but, I uh, need to attend the other one as well? No, I'm having like two QA. Um, so yeah, well, you're going to be th these are going to run every Friday for an hour. So it's up to you if you want to. But they'd be they'd be better. It'd be better if you did come, honestly, because you know obviously we'd be able to learn new things every week and um, and get better every week. Okay. But um, but yeah. Uh, thanks for today. No, thank you for joining, Harminder. Thank you, uh, and thank you as well, uh, Rami Lingham, and thank you as well, Bridget. Uh, thanks, but yeah. Nice. Not a problem, guys. Thank you for joining. I'll see. Have a great weekend, and we'll probably catch up next week. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Not a problem, guys. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye.